Welcome to Brian Beeler's Rounding Them Up. It's going to be October 31st. It's going to be another Halloween special. It's going to be the last of our Halloween special here. So if you tune in for all three searches, sure do appreciate you watching. This one's going to be for sale, 3K and under. So it's just going to be a bunch of stuff I grabbed. I seen was just posted up for 3K and under. So you got to dig that. If you didn't find something in those first two searches, maybe you'll find something worth checking out here. But like all Rounding Them Ups, it's usually subscribers that we're looking for cars for you guys it's free and easy to do if it's something you're interested in you subscribe to the channel drop in the comments below it's free to subscribe when I say subscribe you don't have to pay like a do and a fee or nothing it's completely free you just click on subscribe and drop in the comments on any video the make a model you're looking for we'll add it to our request list because we're still behind fortunately I want to get a bunch more searches done this week and Ended up getting 13 free abandoned storage units, so I've been slammed with work. And after this here tonight, we'll probably be back off on rounding them up for a while because I got a lot of stuff to sort through. But needless to say, this is the one I would pick. I had three grand and wanted to go buy something tomorrow. This might be the one I'd go check out, especially if it was closer to where I'm at. So it's not the only car we found for sale, but it's the one I would definitely check out. I was looking to buy something. So let's get on to our search. It's going to be Facebook Marketplace Craigslist. I don't own any of these cars, but I put them in price order from lowest to highest. So the very first one is going to be 1974 Delete, 800 bucks, four weeks ago, Nevada. So that's exactly how you'd find it. Facebook Marketplace Punch in 1974 Delete in Nevada. This car will come up. Just like all these cars on this search. Punch you into seeing the title on that platform in that area, and you will find them as of the 31st. Got the Vegas Life van sitting there in the background. Some seriously blown out tires from sitting in the desert. That baby blue tan interior was pretty cool at one time. 800 bucks, Nevada. No description. It's going to be a 1961 Cadillac Stepson Limited Edition. 1000 bucks, Texas. Listed a day ago. Looking for a Cadillac. A cool one. Got the skirts laying there. It's definitely a cool car. Do they have a title? It's the first thing you gotta ask that Texas seller right there. 1959 Chevrolet Apache. 3800 for a grand. Three weeks ago, Nevada again. I believe it's the same sellers. With no description. Cool truck. Price a thousand bucks. 1969 Ford F100, $1,200. Posted three days ago. I dig the black paint. Looks like it's original. That's a cool truck we're checking out. Texas area looking to build a cool truck. It's only got a bill of sale with it. So back to Facebook Marketplace. It's gonna be 1966 Pontiac GTO, 1200 bucks. How you gonna beat that? We got a 66 GTO on here for 1200 bucks. Four hours ago, Louisiana. Look at all the photos. Doesn't look like there's much left there. Did see some quarter glass, one door with a window in it. Had a steering wheel. Rear view mirror, no engine, no trans. There's the other door. There's the deck lid. GTL. Clear title, very rusty. Can't get there fast enough. Need a title? Boom. There's one. For twelve hundred bucks, nineteen sixty-six Ford Ranchero, twelve hundred dollars four weeks ago. This is going to be North Carolina. Kind of straight axle they got underneath this. Got it all lifted up. I don't know if it's on a truck chassis or what. That's what it looks like. Ranchero body. Yeah, it has a title. For a Ranchero 66 body, boom. It'll be 1964 Pontiac GTO, 1200 bucks four hours ago. Same seller as the other one. So there you go. There's two GTOs, 2400 bucks. They've been picked just about clean. Has a clean title again. Old Gasser, very rusty. Just had a straight axle under it, I think. 1962 Plymouth Claim. That's how he's got this listed. 1200 bucks. List a day ago, Nevada. What a cool car right here. 
Let's see, right? 1200 bucks. Can't get there fast enough to check out that one. Got some nice trailer wheels on the front. 62 Plymouth Belvedere. For sale, 1200 tray. Bill of sale, six cylinder. Oh, there's some of the catch. There's a bill of sale. Gonna be a camper, hunting vehicle. Sleep sex, run great. 1290. That's how they got it posted. Minnesota. Went on two days ago. Can't get there fast enough to buy this. Just got to throw it out. Got no place to go. Boom. Got wheels and a house. For 1200 bucks. It's not been all gutted inside yet either. It says it runs and drives great. You can drive it up north. Go hunting trip. Boom. Color text bill. Plain title. Minnesota. Can't get there fast enough. Need some place to stay? It's going to be cheaper than a motel room. Just find a Walmart parking lot. 1965 Chevrolet Impala, 1300 bucks. Listed five weeks ago, Missouri. Look, this gentleman's got a couple of these Impalas for sale, too. Same seller. 65 two door, non SS car, V8 car. No title on this one. So there's your catch, no title. Facebook Marketplace, same seller. 1965 Chevrolet Impala, sedan, 4D, for four door. Looks like a two door to me. Five weeks ago. No front clip, no engine, no trans. Deck leak gone off it, rear end might have been gone. No title again. It's going to be on a Craigslist. It's going to be 1963 Ford Falcon. 1400 bucks for this one. Posted four hours ago, California. Looks like there's a whole barn full of little cars stuffed in here. It says we have a barn find of 18 cars. So check them out, get on here, hit him up. If you're in that area looking to buy a little car because I think they were all little cars. 1961 Chevrolet Impala. Classics though. 1400 bucks. Seven hours ago in this one, Missouri. Not a bad looking Impala. Engine trans is gone. It's four door. Has good glass trim all the way around. 348 car. Good for restoration. No delivery. Was well, twenty five hundred. Now I ask him fourteen hundred firm. What a steal! Back to Facebook Marketplace. Nineteen seventy Chevrolet Nova. Fifteen hundred bucks. This is two weeks ago, North Carolina. Clean title. No motor. No transmission. Good staff card. Body only. Sears inquires. Price is negotiable. Only one photo on that old Nova. 1960 Pontiac Bonneville here, 1500 bucks. That's their week ago, Tennessee. Star Chief Ford or needs total work. What a cool car. That's a cool one. For 1500 bucks. We're standing at three grand. This is definitely going to be projects, but what cool cars for under three grand. 1962 Buick Special, 1500 bucks. Two weeks ago, California. Another really cool car. The aluminum engine's gone. 62 Buick four door, no motor, no transmission, paperwork. Put an LS in something. There you go. 1971 Chevrolet Camaro, 1500 bucks. Three hours ago, it's gonna be Florida. Can't get there fast enough to buy that. 71 Camaro for 1500 bucks. You know, you have to do some major repairs like rear frame rails probably. So this has clean Florida title. Does need roof skin. You can buy all the skins for it. That's cheap. Fifteen hundred bucks, Florida looking for a cool seventy one Camaro, boom. Nineteen sixty seven Chevrolet El Camino here, fifteen hundred bucks. Five days ago, Texas. Gonna be Craigslist. Sixty seven El Camino with a stick shift in it. Yeah, I'm digging this one a lot. 327 or a 283 V8 in the car with the floor shift. Odometer, so it shows 77,000 actual on this car. The title was lost long ago. So I'm guessing you're getting no title with that one. It's going to be back to Craigslist. 1965 Chrysler New Yorker. 1595 two days ago. Be a big 413 or something in this, probably. Chrysler project for many years. 
Sold as is. Cars clean. 413 automatic. There you go. Look for a big block. Chrysler engine. Some derby tires. I don't know. Fix that up enough to derby that or not. Save it. There it is. $1595. We're now at $1,600. It's going to be a 1955 Oldsmobile 88. That's the $1,600 four weeks ago in California. It's a two door. It's a badass car. At a great price. $1,600. Can't get over there quick enough to check that one out. It's up, it's available. I'm gonna be back to Craigslist. It'll be 1977 Dodge 200 Adventure pickup truck. 1850 on this one, four hours ago. Look how nice that Dodge looks. For 1850, you can't get there fast enough. Even if it doesn't have an engine in it, are you kidding me with the 1850 on that one? Hard to find them this clean. I'd have to agree with him great roller project so there is no engine with it it's gonna be 1963 Dodge Dart GT 1950 on this one listed one day ago Got the baby rally up front and on the back just rusted up some nice wheels look like quarter panels in the trunk still got six cylinder in it going through real quick to see if those were lower quarters they are those going to be some hard pieces to find up. It's cool that they already got them. This is a great price. So the clean Texas title. Posted one day ago. 63 Dart. Boom. Get on it. That's a great first project. Let me barn find here. It's the same guy that had all the other small cars. 1959 Nash Metropolitan here. It's 1950. You put on this one four hours ago. And again, they got a whole barn full of little cars here. For sale. California four hours ago it's gonna be another one in that barn it's gonna be barn fine 63 Sunbeam Alpine 1995 so most of these cars are all two grand and under so looking for a small car California area there's a place to start Let me back to Facebook marketplace 1961 Ford Mustang Coupe 2d that's how they got it posted two grand it's a little Falcon this did five weeks ago, Alabama. 61 Ford Falcon Roller. Rails are solid. Be cool gasser. They want to build me a gasser. Again, I live real close to a drag strip. 1971 AMC Javelin, two grand. This did five weeks ago, Tennessee. Some old trailer wheels on it. Still got the interior in it. Shifter coming through the floor. Says he has two Javelin project cars. One of them has a title. The other one has a broken windshield and back window. So you're getting them both, I do believe. Can't get there fast enough. Looking for a Javelin? Boom. Get the trailer ready. Head that way. And one of them does have a title. Tennessee, five weeks ago, two grand. You're stealing those. 1963 Ford Falcon. Two grand five weeks ago. Arkansas. This looks like a running driving car right here. Really nice looking interior. And then the front end's all bashed up. See it right. Front end was all smashed. Needs a grill, bumper, maybe even a core support. It still runs. Smack pretty good. It's a hood too. Just ran out of gas. Two grand. Can't expect much for two grand, right? We got a 1965 Oldsmobile Tornado. Two grand. Three weeks ago. Let's see, it's in Quebec. Towards Montreal, right? So there's one for the Canadian fans. You gotta love that air cleaner, right? Or the fact that this thing's front wheel drive. Yeah, that's cool for parts. No description. Three weeks ago, two grand, great price. 
1964 Plymouth Valiant, two grand, listed five weeks ago on this one. It's going to be in Nevada. This is a super cool car. Can't get there fast enough to grab that two door. Vegas, two grand. Maybe catch no title or something, right? No information. It's two in a row with no descriptions at all. 1949 Ford Shoebox Custom, two grand, six weeks ago, California. What a cool car. That's another cool one. Got some rough interior in it, but it looks like it's all together still. I'm digging it. Has a pink slip. Selling it as a parts car. I mean, 1966 Mercury Comet 202, two grand, listed a day ago, Kansas. Another cool car. Got the big foot pedal in there. Six cylinder. I think it looks great. For two grand. What a cool project car. First project car, two grand. You can't beat that deal right there. I didn't even read it out. It runs and drives. Everything works. Yeah, that's a great first car. 1964 Ford Falcon, two grand, six weeks ago, Indiana. Especially if you've never had a classic car. Get one of these things, you won't have to take it to the garage and pay all those mechanics to do all that work. You'll be able to go fix it yourself. Rock Auto, Riley Auto Parts. Got 90% of your parts, all these old classic cars. This is a cool one. Definitely needs some work. Two grand. Missing some parts. 1967 Dodge W100 short bed 4x4, half ton, 440 powered pickup. Can't get there fast enough. I love this truck. It's like my all-time favorite truck right there. Only they make that better would be a stick shift. You heard it right. It's got a 440 in it already. Four-wheel drive. Got the four-wheel drive transfer case. That's the one right there. If I was going to buy me a Dodge truck, yep, I'd get my ass headed to Nevada for that one right there. Awesome deal. Going to be a 1976 Dodge Adventure Club Cab. Two grand. This one's pretty cool too. One extended cab. This truck looks great. What a nice looking truck. Two thousand dollars four days ago. Can't get there fast enough. That's your area, Arizona. Looking for a good truck. That's a good one. It's gonna be Appleton. Back on the Craigslist. It's gonna be Wisconsin. 1934 Chevy car. Two grand. It's got this posted all over. So you can find this car in lots of different areas, but I do believe he's Wisconsin. I don't know where they pulled it up out of. My bet would be no title. Bill sale only. Two grand. Ten hours ago. It's going to be Chattanooga, Tennessee here. 1971 Chevy C10. Two grand. Dig the aluminum slots. Step side bed. Cool truck for two grand. I'm digging that one a lot. Bill sale only. There's your cash. Facebook Marketplace, 1958 Chevrolet Brookwood, 2150 Oklahoma. Four weeks ago, heard it right. It's a wagon. This thing is bad to the bone. You want a cool wagon? Can't get there fast enough. What a great price. Cool car. No motor. No transmission. Sold with a bill sale only. That sucks. 1966 Ford F-250 regular cab. 2200 bucks. This is four weeks ago, Kansas. What well, might have me a 66 Ford myself. So you got a 66 Ford F-250 sitting on a, a 70s high boy frame. Has a 390 with minimal rust. Frame solid. Camper special. 2700 best offer. He's down to 2200 on that truck. It'll be 1963 Ford Falcon. 2300 bucks on this one. Listed a week ago, Virginia. 63 Falcon. Got a rusty roof. Got a lower quarter section put on it. Different fenders. Torque box looked like it was still in it. Somebody's replaced it. Virginia with the title. Looking for one with a title? Found one. 2300 bucks right there. 1964 Chevrolet C10. That's 2450 for this one. Texas, eight weeks ago. 
on that front bumper being jacked up. This looks like a great truck. These engine trans. You guys are getting it with no title either. So no title, no engine, no trans. 1974 Ford Maverick. We've made it up to 2,500 bucks. Solicited 30 weeks ago, Georgia. Well, Georgia, you're not getting no title, just a bill of sale. Cool car, had to include it. Didn't realize it was on here that long. 1976 Oldsmobile Cutlass, 2,500 bucks three weeks ago. Again, Quebec. So we had quite a few cars in the same cellar, I do believe. And that's another one he had. He's got the hood for that, but I dig that it's T tops. It's got some nice trailer wheels if you need new upgrades for your trailer. Title in hand, eight cylinder, and it runs. Very right, 76 Oldsmobile Cutlass with T-tops. 1970 Ford Mustang here, 2,500 bucks seven hours ago, Arkansas. It's got that fast back roof if you want to cut it off, put it on something else. Looks like it was all crushed in the front like a tree might have fell on this car. It does have an engine still in it. Boy, does that look rough. 2,500 bucks seven hours ago. 302 two barrel rear ends in the car cannot find the title gonna be 1960 Ford Galaxy 2500 bucks this is a week ago it's gonna be Oklahoma on this one in 1960 Ford Galaxy the motor does not run in driving condition lost the title will provide bill of sale that's a cool old car dig the back ends on those ones a lot the tail lights the bumpers the fins Cool car, 60 Ford Galaxy, no title. 1963 Chevrolet Impala Sport Coupe, 2,500 bucks just a week ago in Texas. Does say clean title. Tractor air conditioning, hard top. Sold as is, clean title. So there you go. Looking for a 63 Texas area, he's got one, two door with the title. 2500 bucks 1976 Pontiac Grand Prix LJ package 2500 bucks posted 23 hours ago it's gonna be in Texas I do dig the original wheels on it but obviously that's not the original hood trunk lid's pretty wasted too if that is the original hood that's unbelievable sunburn right and description says low mileage V8 400, 400 turbo trans. All the glass in good shape, bumpers, lenses, various parts. Original mag rims, body is heavily rusted. So it's got an awesome 400, 400 tranny in it. And a nice set of wheels. 2500 bucks. 1963 Chevrolet Impala Project. 2500 list a week ago. It's going to be Missouri on this one. And her fenders are all chopped out. Heater box is chopped out. It's like it was set up to go racing with it. And it don't look too bad on the bottom side. Trunk's been replaced. Body mounts are wasted. It's got a video. It's not a bit running. It's 2500 bucks. Old race car project. 2 3 No title has rust. See her right, no title with it either. Not many parts left to it either. So I move right along to another one. It's gonna be a Mercury Comet 1964, 2500 bucks. Can't expect much for under three grand, right? Five days ago. Painted the bumper on the front. It does have a couple tail lights in it. Tail lights are worth quite a bit of money. The grill and bezels all look usable. I wouldn't mind having it for parts. Make a grocery get her out of it. Five days ago, it's going to be Florida. It does have automatic transmission, 265. Six cylinder car. Clean title, 2500 best offer. I'm digging the white. Red interior. Wait to get my comment done. Here we go, Mike. Here's one for you. 1968 Mercury Cougar base model, 2,500 bucks. Five days ago, it's going to be in New Jersey. Got some 
trailer wheels on it, no engine, no trans. Actually doesn't look like a bad start. It has interior in it. Yeah, if you got an engine trans laying around 2500 bucks five days ago, get on it. Base model 302 automatic, no engine, no trans, 8 inch rear. I don't know the ratio, mostly complete cash only. That was a great deal on that one. It's going to be a 1965 Chevy Malibu, 2500 bucks, three days ago. Okay, they're fast enough. It's going to be no title, right? It's in Michigan. 27 automatic. Car's rusty. Make great parts car. So there you go. Make great great parts car. Let's say title status is clean. But he doesn't mention it. 1957. Packard Clipper. It's 2500 bucks a day ago. This car looks great. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. A little bit of paint. You're at the car show. Yep, you see it right. Posted one day ago for 2500 bucks. Idaho. Another one on Craigslist. 1964 Cadillac Coupe DeVille Project. 2600 bucks on this one. Again, posted one day ago. For a big Cadillac two door. All together, some knocked out glass. Some big dents. Got one for you right here. A couple big dents for sure. 2600 bucks in this car. Does say clean title. Cash only. It's gonna be a '54 Ford Custom Line Coupe, and it's gonna be 2,600 bucks four days ago. Definitely got some cool wheels on it. This car looks great. Yeah, don't look like gonna take too much to make that look like a great looking car. I like that there's no burnt hood because that's obviously the worst air cleaner you can run. So we just seen one a little bit ago on that Hemi I showed on the last Rat Rod episode. Not a lot of people, man, why do you not like the air cleaners? Because they catch on fire. This foam shit drips into the carburetor, and then it catches the bottom of your hood on fire that's got oil and shit on it. It's just bad news. Never run an air cleaner that don't have a top to it. So I would recommend throwing that away as soon as you get there before you even try to get this thing to run. And use it like that guy was using it on that Hemi's. Stick it on that carburetor that's sitting on the shelf so you don't get dust in there. Unless the foam is falling apart. So, worst air cleaner ever. Cool car. But you got a different carburetor in the back because the air cleaner done ruined this one. I'm going to another 1973 Dodge Player, a sedan cop car project. 2800 bucks two days ago. On a Blues Brother car. Boom, found you one right there. That's a whole lot of car with some beautiful interior in that thing. Iowa, looking for something cool? Sold, 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 sold. That thing's probably sold. <laughs> 1956, why wouldn't you just delete it, right? 1956 Oldsmobile Holiday 4-door hardtop postless. 2800 bucks. Another really cool car. Missing the glass. But wow, what a great price. It is a 4-door. 2800 bucks five hours ago, Phoenix, Arizona. That's a cool one. Bill sale only, too. I mean, 1960 Chevrolet Impala two door, 2800 bucks, listed a week ago, Oklahoma. I believe he's got more than one here, too. So it's another one of those sellers where you can hit him up. This is what you're looking for is a 60 some Impala. He's got quite a few of them, I believe. Not sure how many we included on this episode. This one here is no title. It's 2800 bucks. I mean, 1958 Ford Country Squire Wagon. This is a really badass wagon, too. So we had some really cool station wagons on here. This one needs some really extensive floor repairs. The frame rails look great. This is a full frame car, body sitting on a frame. That's a cool one. That's where we're putting floor pans in. What a cool wagon. It's going to be a 71 VW bus. Bay window project delivery. 2900. Type it in like that. Posted a day ago and it's going to be in Oklahoma. For a VW bus build. Boom. There's one. It's not your 21, 22 window, but it's a clean looking bus. 
I think that's a great starting point for project. 2900 bucks, so we're just about our limit. Another $2,900 car. It's going to be Boston. Craigslist, Vermont. 1957 Nash Metropolitan Reduced. $2,900, this little car. But, man, it looks way better than those other ones we've seen stuffed in that barn, right? Now, then you see the bottom of it was pretty rusty. Engine looked absolutely great. Do a little bit of rust repair and a little car. Boom, there's one. Three hours ago. Looks like a great little price on a great little project. Especially got a little garage. 1975 Cosworth Vega Twin Cam needs work. 2900 best offer. Can't get there fast enough. And that car looks absolutely great. Got a side window knocked out. Quarters got some damage in it. Missing the headlight. Still can't get there fast enough to buy that one. Tell me you got $2,200 and you're on your way. That should have been the pick of the day, man. What a cool, these were some cool little cars right here. On to another 1978 Pontiac Trans Am two-door. size guy posted three grand five weeks ago. North Carolina. Got the Firebird hood on there. Don't have the Trans Am hood on it, but there's your Trans Am. Probably getting both cars. 78 Trans Am blue car with title. Complete less motor trans. Good starter. Comes with 79 Trans Am parts car T-tops. Three grand for the pair. So there you go. You're getting both of them. Three grand. North Carolina. In 1955, Oldsmobile 88 Rocket. Three grand, California. Just like the one we seen earlier. So that's two of these we've seen. This one's got some really nice floors. Got the seats back in it. That looks like a great project. Absolutely awesome price. Three grand, 23 hours ago, California. On a really cool Olds 88. 1966 Pontiac GTO. Three grand, four hours ago, Louisiana. Looking for a 66 GOAT. For three grand, you're not going to be able to get there fast enough. Because that just doesn't exist, right? 66 GTO. PHS clear title. 72 400. 13 head standard three speed transmission don't know anything about the engine and transmission very rusty 3000 or best offer yep you heard right for 66 goat with a 400 in it for the three speed manual on to another one to be 1968 Ford Galaxy 500 three grand five days ago this is a cool car to save right here hideaway headlights yeah, I'm digging that one a lot. New Jersey, three grand five days ago. It's got a 394 barrel in this one with automatic transmission. That's a cool car. It's gonna be 1957 Cadillac Fleetwood, three grand four days ago. Another really cool car, four door. All together, big Cadillac. Yeah, that's a nice big car. You want a big, big car, Texas area? Everything's big in Texas, right? That's a big Cadillac. It'll be 1975 Chevrolet Impala Glasshouse Coupe. Three grand two days ago. Be Idaho. It's only got one photo. Glasshouse Project. Complete car, less the grill and some lenses. Has clean Idaho title. Has some rust, fires up and runs. Float is stuck and floods. Needs brake work. Has 350 in it. Three grand or best offer for the 75 Chevy. So we got one more here before the pick of the day. We actually went over three grand on this one. 1981 Chevrolet Corvette Coupe 3500. Maybe he'll take three grand. Listed five days ago, Texas. Well, who doesn't want a wedge bed, wheel lift Corvette? 3500 bucks. Yep. You definitely have the only one. Clean title. Sold as is project. Does not run. 350 auto. Asking 3500 So that's an asking price. You might actually be able to get that a little cheaper. With all that said, thanks for tuning in on Halloween evening here. It's fun looking up cars for y'all. It's always fun looking up cars. 1972 Chevrolet Vega tubbed race car. This is going to be my pick of the day. 
listed two weeks ago California you see the price it's a thousand ninety dollars so you can't have the trailer loaded up fast enough to get there to get this eight or two away I would be on my way back with it I obviously can't go all the way to California to grab this I wish I could because I would I wanted to build me a little race car and this thing would be perfect so for a thousand bucks no title it's a drag car I don't think you can get there fast enough to grab that one it's been here two weeks so I'm sure whoever's gonna get their hands on it, it's gonna be smiling all the way home spill sailing he wanted 1500 cash down to 1090 I think he 900 cash 850 you're gonna steal this one and have a really cool project build yourself a cool drag car so that's my pick hope you all have been digging around the ups here this evening anyway I know I missed out all week on doing some abandoned storage units man 13 abandoned storage units I've never had so many storage units in my life at one time let alone try to clean out and talk about some scores man I found some stuff been my best finds ever so I sure do appreciate y'all tuning in big thumbs up to all of you we almost hit what 75 we're over 7500 subscribers now digging that thanks everybody so until we're back with some more rounding them ups be good stay safe and peace out